Hello, beautiful family. It's the 8th of October in the year 2023. You've probably never seen me looking so rough. I'm not well. I've got problems with my kidneys, ongoing problems. I've also got flu, flu virus. Um, so I'm really, really not well. I thought I'd do you this video. Just let you know. I did tell you in that letter, look at me, I look absolutely terrible. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. We're about to fly anyway. Any second now, we're going. And there we are. So I just wanted to let you know that I love you. Look at the bags under my eyes. <laughs> I love you all anyway. We're about to fly any moment. This could be my last video. I've come on here asking you for prayers, please. I live down the street where there's a, a cult of Satanists operating and, and the, the Lord has revealed so much to me what's going on oh, I feel terrible please pray for me family please pray against all the witchcraft and the satanic operation going on God knows the details it's best for me not to mention the details for my own protection. Not that I'm bloody scared of them, because I'm not. I'm not. I know they watch my videos. And I'm not in the slightest bit afraid of them. But they keep doing things. Um, entering into my flat with my, without, without my knowledge, stealing my kitchen knife. Imagine that. Imagine if somebody came into your flat and stole your kitchen knife. How we would be. They stole other things. A pot of honey. For example. They stole that. A few days ago. So. At the council here. Told me I can put a new lock on. Um, but I'm not very good with stuff like that. So I'm going to have to get somebody to. To install the lock. Fit the lock. Lock. A new lock. <coughs> Oh, she gets me on my chest and throat. So I'm going to have to put a new lock on the door. And I'm going to have to move out of here. Because I, I just can't. I can't live. I can't live like this. And they, they're just making my life hell. Because I know what they are doing. And they know that I know. So this is why. This is why. I just want to read you this. So I'm 73. I've read it before. I'm going to read it again. Truly God is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death. I think that means that there's no there's no fear in their death. I don't I don't know what it means, but uh, but their strength is firm. Their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride compasseth them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than the heart could wish. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. Therefore his people return hither and waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. And they say, how doth God know? They're basically saying, you know, there is no God. God doesn't know, you know. And is there knowledge in the Most High? Does God know what we're doing? No, he doesn't. He does. He sees everything. Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world 
they increase in riches. They increase in riches by robbing the fatherless, murdering the fatherless and the widow, sacrificing them like these Satanists are doing. Verily, I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in, in, in instancy. For all the day long have I been plagued and chastened every morning. And if I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offend against the generation of thy children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me until I went into the sanctuary of God. Then understood I their end. Surely thou didst set them in slippery places. Thou castest them down into destruction. How are they brought into desolation as in a moment? They are utterly consumed with terrors. They are utterly consumed with terrors. As a dream, when one awaketh, so, O God, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. Thus my heart was grieved, and I was pricked in my reins. So foolish was I, and ignorant. I was as a beast before thee. Nevertheless, I am continually, continually with thee. Thou hast holden me by my right hand. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee. My flesh and my heart faileth. My flesh and my heart faileth. But God is the strength of my heart and my portion for ever. For lo, they that are far from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all them that go whoring from thee. But it is good for me to draw close to God, draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God, that I may declare all his works. So you Satanists that are watching me, I don't hate you, I love you, but not you, keep, sorry, beautiful families, not to you. This is to the Satanists who watch my videos. If you don't repent from worshipping devils, by the way, those devils have deceived you. Satan have deceived you, Satanists, because he's a liar. <laughs> He's the father of lies, and he can't speak a word of truth because there's no truth in him. So he's deceived you, so he can possess you, so that, so that you think that he is going to give you some good reward. He's giving you some power, you Satanists. He's giving you some power just to hook you in, hook, line, and sinker, right? He can't speak a word of truth. He's come to steal, kill, and destroy. And if you Satanists don't stop worshipping the devils, that's what's going to happen. You'll go down quickly to hell, where it says, where I just read, where you'll be utterly consumed with terrors. So please repent, you Satanists. This is a call out to you Satanists who watch my videos, who watch my every step. The wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. The Lord shall not leave him in his hand, nor condemn him when he is judged. Anyway, listen guys, I love you all, beautiful family. I'm sorry I've not been able to do these videos, but I've been so unwell. <laughs> But I believe, I'm not, I'm not physically unwell, but I'm not mentally unwell. I know what's going on. I know what's going on. 
You wouldn't believe it, guys. You wouldn't believe it if I told you what was going on. What the Lord has shown me. It's probably best that I don't mention it here. But you Satanists who watch my videos, I know what you're up to. I tell you, you can be saved if you will believe the gospel that Jesus Christ died on the cross for all our sins and he was buried and rose again from the dead and you call upon him, you will be saved because the mercies of God are above the heavens and he will forgive even child sacrifice, murder, witchcraft. He will forgive all of that. So please repent. Please. Because I don't want to see my worst enemies go down into that place. Okay, I'm sorry I look so terrible, guys. It's because I feel terrible. But I'm not going to the doctors. I've just, the landlord sent ambulance crew round my house who broke into my door. They lied, saying they were hammering on the door for an hour. Well, the landlord gave them the key to get in. And I've got a lock on the inside of the door. They broke through that, snapped through it. And, uh, and they were trying to take me to hospital. This is the landlord. Because they're all involved in it. And I know. Anyway, I'm going to get off, family. I love you all. I just command, in the name of Jesus Christ, with all authority, that all witchcraft, all satanic occultic work against me is going to fail in the name of Jesus Christ. Will not prevail against me. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. <laughs> all right, family. God bless you all. I love you all. I'll see you in the clouds in a moment. This could be my last video. That's how close we are. The Lord, the Lord himself, shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. This is our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16-18 and Titus 2, 13. See you in the clouds, family.